All right, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech. Let's see what we got going on. Repaired Mech Bay is coming in four days, which is, I believe, a sixth unit we can drop. Okay. So that's going to be, since the Phoenix Hawk's out of action, that'll be the Centurion, Stormcrow, Crossbow, Atlas, Spectre, and either Wolfhound or Owens, or maybe Wolfhound and Owens instead of Spectre. I don't know. Whatever the case may be. Uh, do we have anything we can build? No. Okay. We need... What is that? 800,000 for the financial report, but we've got a full month to do it. Should be easy enough. Um, all of our mech warriors are ready. So, what we might do... Is we might drop into a mission with just these five. Or maybe wait for the Wolfhound to be repaired and drop in with five on a lower skull mission with our B team. Yeah, let's do that. Oh wait, now I'm gonna wait one day for the Wolfhound. One day, boom. All right. So I know we have the stabilized ultralight gyro that needs to be added to something. Maybe the Atlas. I don't remember what kind of gyro it has. Uh, Centurion has defense, so we're going to keep the defense plus. Stormcrow is Omni. Crossbow is Omni. Or, well, not really Omni, but it's locked. Can't change the gyro there. So basically, unless the, unless the Atlas is able to use it, we don't really have a good mech for the stabilized ultralight gyro until maybe the Phoenix Hawk is ready or we get a new one. Whatever the case may be, let's see what we can do. Uh, oh, real quick, let's check the Mech Warriors to see if the B team... Um, is Zed's definitely A team. Falcon's definitely A team. Uh, face get anything? No. Uh, Bronzite... It, no, Hardball's the Stormcrow for the A-team, so... What is it already? Yeah, he's gonna... Well, then again, some more tactics. Training confirmed. Better sense rolls, which means better accuracy. Uh, we do want him to get gunnery pretty quickly. Um, I think that we're gonna go for controlled burst. Well, then again, the clustering is really nice with SRM, so we might go for Warlord here. In any case, that's that's future problems. Uh, Starfish, uh, go ahead and give her more tactics. Mech warrior training complete. Again, uh, every other tactics increases your sensor roll, which basically increases your accuracy. Um, it's it's just under one accuracy, so increasing to two, four, six, eight, ten is essentially giving plus one accuracy, or just under plus one accuracy to the mech that they're piloting. Commander. Squire is actually ready to get something, maybe. Is he part of the B team, or is he just training? Same with Hacker. Um, Hacker is military bookish. Cool. Um, Squire for is brave bookish. So, Squire does not have recoil reduction. So what mech would he be put on? I don't know. Um, Commander. Oh, Bolt can get another gunnery. Cool. Training complete. I guess we'll just look through going. everyone and then figure out who's piloting what later. Training confirmed, Commander. Standing by. I'm receiving you. Oh, Falcon. Okay. So right now, the Atlas is running a little hot. Controlled Burst would potentially allow us to fire the PPCs more turns than we otherwise would be able to. But the recoil reduction would be negligible. Like, it, it doesn't matter. We already have enough recoil reduction for the weapons in the Atlas. The Jam Chance Multiplier could come in, but we already have pretty good Jam Chance Reduction. So the Ultra Auto Cannon hasn't jammed in quite a while. Warlord has the plus one accuracy. Plus 10 to clustering would actually help with both the LRM and the Ultra Autocannon. 
so it would help make sure the ultra auto cannon second shot actually hit the same location. Hmm. So I guess the question is, is the Atlas going to stay running hot? Or are we going to try to deal with its... If we deal with its cooling and get it to not run hot, then Warlord is definitely better. But Controlled Burst would allow us to let it run hot, which would save us tonnage on heat sinks. Tonnage and slots. Hmm. Because whenever your whenever your alpha strike is, I think it's what a hundred and something heat. That's minus ten plus heat for two turns in a row out of every three. Hmm. It would also allow us to potentially replace the AC-5, or the Ultra AC-5, with an Ultra AC-10 if we manage to get the tonnage somehow, like with the stabilized Ultralight Gyro. And an Ultra AC-10, I believe, has three recoil, which means it would actually come in very handy for that. And we can always respec him later if we're not happy, so controlled burst it is. And then, um... Some more guts so that he's less. Oh, why not put one of each? All right. Warrior training complete. Cool. So Falcon is just better now. Um. What do you want? Standing by. Skyros, let's get you some more gunnery to try to offset your negative perk, the uh, cautious. So. Yeah. Um. Something like the, uh, orders. How can I help? Warden can get some more gunnery. Training confirmed, Commander. Of course, Warden actually really also wants tactics because he already has the built-in offensive push, uh, plus three offensive push accuracy. So if we can get tactics to ten, that's one, two, three, four, five offensive push accuracy. So he would get a total of plus eight offensive push accuracy, which basically offsets the penalty. So he'd be able to make offensive pushes happen constantly with, like, no accuracy penalty. Or close to no accuracy penalty. You. Uh, Zed? Well, do we wait for one more gunnery? Uh, that's another 6,900 experience. Or do we take one tactics and then that's another... No. No, that's... We'll wait, we'll wait for the 6,900 gunnery so we... Or 6,900 experience so we can get the gunnery upgrade. So, Hacker and Squire, we need to figure out what to do with them. So, to that end, let's figure out who we're taking. We've already figured out one and one half skull missions are too easy for our B team. So, can they handle a two and a half skull battle? Fortified gun emplacements. Okay. So, we're against turrets. And potentially mobile enemy forces. Okay. I think I think we can do that, and it's against pirates. So it's against pirates, but there's turrets. Turrets often have actually really good gear on them. So the real question is, do we get our entire financial report in one mission? Or do we go for some salvage in the event that there's something interesting? I think we're going to go half and half, actually. That should still make us good for the financial report. All right, Hardball is out. Bronzite is out. Face is staying in. I kind of consider the Spectre part of the B team. Just period. Um, do we leave the crossbow out? Because it's... So it's fixed gun emplacements, which means they're going to have long-range weapons. And the Stormcrow is faster, 6-9. Yeah, the Stormcrow is faster. So, it's 540, 390. Versus 
So as soon as the Stormcrow gets into range, so as soon as they get 360, they can unload with everything. The crossbow, even once he gets in range of the AP Gauss rifle battery, he's doing reduced damage. So he would actually have to get to 240 to be doing full damage. And it's actually kind of hard to crit out a turret because, I mean, they have so much armor and once you get through their armor, they're kind of useless at that point. But if there's any mobile forces, which there probably will be, then being able to just absolutely crit them out is good. Ammo explosions and things like that tend to make short work of lower skull rated enemies. Or we could drop the Owens or the Wolfhound or the Spectre. But I kind of want to leave part of the A-Team out of this mission. Well, no, let's let's leave one of the Light Mechs, uh, either the Wolfhound or the Owens, out. And since we're against mostly turrets, I don't think we need the extra accuracy from the Pulse Lasers. So we will bring the Centurion, the Stormcrow, the Crossbow, the Owens, and the Spectre. So who is going to pilot what? Uh, Falcon Hardball are both part of the A-Team. Zed's part of the A-Team. Starfish, I think, is part of the A-Team now. So we're going to want... Um, Bronzite was the Phoenix Hawk pilot. And the Phoenix Hawk is down for now. It might be good to have a good pilot on the Stormcrow. Or the crossbow, either one. I think we're going to put Skyros on the crossbow, actually, because... Yeah, the AP Gauss rifle battery is a lot of spam, so the minus one accuracy isn't going to hurt as much. But the plus one evasion generated will help the crossbow keep from taking so much damage. And uh, that will make it ready for the next battle with our A team much more easily or much more quickly. So Zed, Starfish, Hardball, Falcon. That's four. Bronzite would be five and then bringing either Squire or Hacker would be six because we're about to have six mechs available for the A team mission. Hmm. Oh yeah, the Stormcrow has a pirate fire control system, so we actually need somebody with recoil reduction. Uh, Hacker has recoil reduction, Squire does not, so we are going to bring Hacker on the Stormcrow. So, Welcome oops, not Mech Bay, Barracks. What that means is we definitely want Hacker to have Bandit, and... Yeah, that's fine. Just banded. Mech warrior training. All right. Complete. Oops, not Mech Bay. <laughs> I keep clicking the wrong thing. Uh, I just want to go customize mechs. Let's be real. That's why I keep clicking Mech Bay. Half and half. I'm going to kick myself if there's like a whole heavy mech just sitting there after the battle. Uh, hardball out. Uh, Bronzite out. Wolfhound out. Owens over. Uh, Stormcrow, Crossbow, Hacker in the Stormcrow, Skyros in the, I mean, Skyros in the, Skyros in the Crossbow, Hacker in the Stormcrow. Or do I reverse them? Because SRM spam doesn't really need the accuracy either, and the SRM streaks will only fire if they hit. I think I'm going to swap them. Yeah. Yeah, I think that might be what we do. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Or, alternatively, do we throw Squire into the Owens? I mean, Warden would definitely be better for an A-Team mission.
Yeah, let's do that. Alright, Squire. Squire is going to get... I mean, okay, so we've got a lot of bandits. Okay, not not that many, actually, just four. And then we've got four focus fires. And then we got Face, who's just going, you know, evasive. Um... Yeah, let's, uh, let's go focus fire. Sure. Why not? Training complete. Why not? Back to the mission. This time for real. Um, Wolfhound out. Bronzite out. Warden hardball out. Owen's over. Crossbow in. Uh, does Squire have... Squire's going the Owens, right. Um, Skyros. Skyros? Yes, Skyros has recoil reduction. Hacker has recoil reduction. So either one of them can go in the Stormcrow. But I think, thanks to the streaks, I am going to bring Skyros in the Stormcrow and Hacker in the Crossbow. Then we have the Spectre, which is perpetually part of the B team until we just retire it. I think that is a team. Let's see how it goes. All right, B team versus turrets. We'll see how this goes. Command interface initiated. Okay. Okay, so we don't know where the gun emplacements are. Um, okay, they do not appear to be over there. They not appear to be over there. Aha! Apparently they are right here in this region. Um... So, if they're on the high ground and we drop on the low ground, we will not be able to fire on them. If they're on the low ground and we're on the high ground, our short-range mechs won't really be able to get good lines on them. Um, I guess I'm going to err on the side of caution, and maybe I can drop... Okay, so who are we dropping first? We are dropping the Centurion on the high ground, definitely. Uh, the Crossbow would be next. No, the Stormcrow is next, so... Ah, we can't do it. It's too far away. I, I was hoping we could drop off the side of the cliff if we were close enough to it on the top. Then again, maybe if we drop here... No. Yep, nope. There's a vertical limitation. Okay, so I guess we're just dropping on the high ground and hoping for the best. Okay, so it says destroy weapon emplacements, and they are on the low ground. I do not see destroy supporting enemy forces, so unless there's reinforcements, we are actually uh, just going to be shooting at turrets. No problem. So potentially easy money. Copy that. Potentially. Uh, so, turret, turret, okay, which means we can also easily break line of sight as we need to. It's moving out. But yeah, if we can't get close enough, this is going to be difficult. Okay. Standing by. 
So we can get line of sight, obviously, with the Spectre and shoot at them. I should not have moved so close to the edge, because now I can't easily get a bunch of evasion. Yeah, we'll do that. There we go. Destroy enemy units. Okay. Centurion. Irby. Centurion. Um... Oh, there we go. Locust. Okay. Gossip placement. That needs to go. Now, let's see how you handle this. I definitely should have dropped on the low ground. This is going to be difficult with how short range we are. Ah. Uh... Well, hopefully they're short range too. Ready to get it on. Okay, Centurion. I copy. Centurion, Gossam placement. Six times. Whatever you say, huh? There we go. One turret down. That turret is gone. Commander. Next up, we have Skyros. Four evasion is nice. What is that? Heavy rifle position, rifle position, sniper turret. That's going to have PPC. Okay. A single PPC, I'm not too worried about. The heavy rifle and medium rifles can actually do some serious damage. Medium rifle and light rifle have better range, so they'll be more accurate while we're uphill. But we are uphill, so we do get an accuracy bonus, and they do get an accuracy penalty. Oh, wow, that's, that's a good hit chance. Um, actually, would I rather shoot a Centurion? Yeah, I'm not worried about the Locust. Okay. What is the hit chance with Acid? Sixty-nine percent. It's got, yeah. And this is tandem is completely useless against turrets because I mean, by the time you actually do enough damage, structure damage with tandem rounds, the armor is already going to be gone anyway. So forty-three percent to get acid on the pirate centurion, but. Am I really concerned about the Pirate Centurion? So, medium heavy laser pirate has an accuracy penalty, but does pretty good damage. Not as much as the heavy rifle and medium rifles will. The ATM-9 is, um, the pirate ATMs are basically multi-missile launchers. So, he's going to be either firing 9 LRMs, 9 MRMs, or 9 SRMs. That's what a pirate ATM does. And then the AoE rockets, that's like really splashy and there's only 10 of them. So I think I'm actually going to ignore the Centurion and just focus down the uh, heavy rifle position. Plus the... Ah, uh, AMS. Okay. So apparently the heavy rifle position has AMS flares that I didn't notice. Was not paying enough attention. Yeah, AMS flare. But still considerable damage. Still, how many stacks of acid? We don't know. Alright, and then... Medium lasers plus tag. I either have to sacrifice evasion. Yeah, two evasion is the best I can get. Unless I just don't shoot. Or three evasion, losing line of sight to the heavy position. I can move for two evasion. And how many weapons? I can shoot all my weapons. Okay, Owens, please don't die. Oh, hey, that's a much better hit chance than I thought it was. Cool. Locking in all weapon systems. Is that a boom? No. But maybe when the artillery drops, it'll be a boom. Okay, this is the crossbow, which, again, not going to be able to get close enough to be super effective. So, I'm going to be firing with damage penalty. Uh... Actually, I think... Oh, camera, why'd you do that? Yeah. Okay, there we go. 
I think I'm actually going to let the enemy mechs do their thing. Maybe they'll come closer. And if they come closer, I'll be able Roger to do that. more damage. Standing by. Or they'll walk farther away. You know, that too. Okay, I decided to fire nine SRMs and the AoE rockets. Damage minimal. I was kind of hoping he was going to fire LRMs and just do five damage each instead of ten damage each, but... Oh, also, I think the Pirate A team has a damage variation, which is why some of those were eights. Why is the Centurion smoking? And yeah, as expected, firing uphill at long range, not that effective. But what kind of auto cannon is that thing bringing? AC-10 Pirate. So that's, that's dangerous. Um, he has a Cultivator, so that's going to be completely useless since he can't melee us. Heavy Rocket Launcher 20. Okay, that Pirate Centurion needs to go. Um, so that's all of them except for the turrets. I want to destroy that turret before it gets a turn. And I can get Obstructed Line of Sight there. Oh, oh. I cannot get Cover and Line of Sight to the turret, but I can get two Evasion and Line of Sight to the turret. Full speed, no target. I'd rather that turret be dead than to save the turn. And to that end, eight times, fire everything. Yeah. I knew that was a kill, but hey, at least the barrage is going to hit the uh, the Locust and the Centurion. So it wasn't a complete waste. Alright. So that was good. And PPC whiffed as well. Excellent. Okay, so... Eh, I mean, considering it's a Locust, that's actually pretty significant damage. I mean, 16 out of 40 armor is gone off the side torso. 16 out of 50 off the center torso, yeah. I'm happy with that. And he... He has machine guns, which are never going to be able to fire at us, and a medium laser. This Centurion, again, the medium heavy laser is the only real concern, honestly. I mean, 9 SRMs is 90 damage plus damage variation. So that is dangerous, but not as dangerous as the heavy rocket launcher 20 and the AC-10 pirate. So, to that end, I would like... I would like to get line of sight to, can I not get, uh, no, I cannot get direct line of sight to that Centurion, but I can get obstructed line of sight with an eh hit chance. I think I'm going to reserve and wait for him to move. Hopefully he moves away from the cliff edge so that I'll actually be able to target him. Confirmed. With, you know, unobstructed line of sight. So there's a Centurion I'm not super worried about. Doing nothing. Here's the Centurion. I am worried about moving closer. Oof. That's the rocket launcher, I believe. Not that many hits, luckily, but the Owens is taking a beating. I need to be careful with that. Ready for order. Yeah, I, I do not have a good enough sense roll to see whether or not he burned all of his rocket launcher on me. I can get an unobstructed lane of sight right there. And I think I will actually take it. I mean, it is for evasion. And do I go LK? I mean, that is 13... Wait. Why is it only saying 6 damage? Does he have a freaking combat shield? I think he has a combat shield, because all he has is cover. He fired. And yes, he did fire the Heavy Rocket Launcher 20. But he fired, which means he has 40% damage reduction. So yes, he's carrying a combat shield. I want it. I like combat shields. They're nice. Um, 
So... Can't fire dead fire. Uh, don't want to fire tandem. Is applying the stacks of acid worth the 13% hit chance? I'm going to say yes. Because the acid will help us bypass that damage reduction. Order. Okay, Centurion can get unobstructed line of sight with cover, firing past the Stormcrow. Hopefully this doesn't... Ah, the rotary autocannon jammed. Curses. Well, at least that means I don't have to be as worried about friendly fire. Did he lose his... Uh, did he lose his evasion? I can't tell. I don't think he did, because it doesn't have the symbol next to it. I think he's just shy. But, hey, we got a side torso open, so... Ready for orders. Uh, yeah, I just... I'm having trouble getting the line on him. Ooh, this is annoying. Um... Oh, wow, that's a horrible hit chance. Okay. I'm going to get four evasion and shoot at the turret, then. On it. Because I do need to take everything down. And that is a PPC. Engaging with target. So, I was going to say, if my PPC hits, at least he'll be less accurate. Nope. What's up, Commander? Denied. And he just has medium lasers. So if he fired, he would only be able to fire the large pulse at any of those targets. Um, wow. That is unfortunate. And I'm pretty sure if I pull back to wherever that... Or was that? I saw a blue line up. Uh, if he stands and shoots, he would only be able to fire the large pulse lasers. So... I think I'm just going to do that, since I'm just firing a large pulse anyway. I know I'm not shaking the stability damage, but at the same time, he should not be able to be shot by anyone anymore. Oh, you want some of this? Eh, it's damage. I mean, the, the accuracy penalty and bonus situation means dropping on the high ground was good, but at the same time, not being able to bring all of our weapons to bear means that it's going to take longer than it otherwise would have. So, we're trading speed of, of, uh... Okay. Just interrupting that thought for a second. Do I feel comfortable firing eight shots of an AP Gauss Rifle battery past my Storm Crow? Because there's a chance he's running a pirate engine. Which means I could potentially destroy the side torso and take him out. Let's do it. Wait, did I walk or sprint? Oof, whatever. Let me see. Uh, tar okay, move self plus one, so I walked. Good. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Knocking on target. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did not crit him out. Target taken a critical hit. Did knock him unsteady. And okay, fifty damage. So the PPC hit. <sighs> okay. The Owens is fine. Did the storm crow? Nope, no stray shots. Amazing. Um. Once again, can't really get an angle, so. Standing by. Come on, give me a shot on the storm crow. I mean, on the centurion. Nope, wrong centurion.
You know what? I'll take it. Transfer stray shots against the Irby. Only have one evasion, but honestly, if I have to lose something, I would much rather lose the Spectre than anything else. So, if they're going to focus fire, I'd rather than focus fire the Spectre. Um, once again, being able to shoot then move would be amazing right now in this situation. Because if I go up here, I can only fire the Streaks, right? Yeah. But... It does give me three evasion. Allows me to disengage. You want fast? I can give you fast. Hopefully baits them into walking away from the wall so I can better shoot them. Here you go. And good damage, so. Because, yeah, having a target right there close, they're going to focus fire the Storm Crow. They're going to stay in that area. Oh, wow. He's actually able to get close enough to shoot the machine guns, so. Huh. But as long as our armor's not open, that's not a big deal. Um, Centurion. Could move to the position. Yeah. Let's do it. That should be a kill. Instead of waiting for him to maybe walk away from the wall, let's just kill him. Okay. Turns out he does not have a pirate engine. But he's knocked down, so... His accuracy is going to be horrible when he stands back up. And his center is down to 26. Commander. Can't even move for one evasion, still get the shot. I mean, medium rifle, light rifle, so 25, I think. It's either 20 or 25 damage each, so potentially 50 damage. Medium rifle, I think, is 40 damage. So that's about 100 damage I could potentially take. The PPC... You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Roger that. Target confirmed. Right. Who's next? Yeah, there's like nothing left of that Let's Centurion. I can't take much more of this. Oof. How much damage does the Centurion take? Okay, 9 damage from the other Centurion. And... Okay, um... I don't know where the stray shot hit. I guess it was the shield arm. That's fine. Ready for order. And yeah, as expected, can't get a line on pretty much any of them except for right there. And uh, if I shoot at the turrets, I can only use the large pulse. So, the cake. we'll fire on the locust. Got three evasion from walking. Got good hit I chance. Okay, got a crit. Not sure what. Connection on that got a crit. Irby. Ow, okay, so I think that's an AC-10. I don't remember looking at the Irby. But, uh, pretty sure that's an AC-10 I just got hit with. Okay, there's the heavy, uh, medium and light rifles from the turret missing. PPC, miss, excellent. Okay, so, so far, going pretty smooth. Going, going smooth enough anyway. Um, yeah, no idea what the Irby's carrying. Turn 23, Locust. Hugging the wall, which is annoying. Doing nothing, which is fine. Face is gonna go for two evasion and cover. Also breaking line of sight with the mechs down there. I'm more worried about the rifle position, but it's closer. So maybe I should use the PPC and large laser on the target that most of my units are going to have trouble hitting. 
And the PBC misses again. Okay. Water. Um, yeah, Owens is just... Can I even shoot everything? Oof. 14s and a 35. Versus... Yeah, let's do that. Speed there in the chip. Because based on the fact that I can't shoot them, I think they would have to walk away from the wall to be able to shoot the Owens. And these rifle are the the turrets need to be taken down. So critical hit, commander. I think they're the highest damage potential still out here. Centurion. Oh yeah, he can shoot the other Centurion still. Okay, so that was either MRMs or LRMs that he just fired. See if we can take the PPC on down. Double time. And Vigilance, since he's standing right there on the ledge. And ER, so they can fire everything. Fire full on the enemy. Yeah, that's some good damage. Critical hit, Commander. Yes, boss. Crossbow. Can only fire the mediums. Unless he goes down there. Or, okay, looks like if he stands and shoots, he could potentially... Yeah, let's do it. Confirm. Ah. How are you missing an Irby that much? Irby's barely move. Good to go. How are you missing an Irby that much? Why does the Irby have... What? Let me check the accuracy real quick. Um... So, let's flip to LK real quick. So... Move self one, okay. Target moved plus two. So yeah, he only has one evasion. He's in a forest, so that's plus two. It's obstructed lamp sight, so that's plus two. Okay. And then the range. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... He doesn't have much armor. Well, we crit something. Probably his leg. Solid connection on that one. He's unsteady, so now he can't sprint. And he missed. Excellent. PPC whiffed. Excellent. Okay. We should be able to clean this up now. Okay. Yeah, so it is 20 damage. Pretty sure it's 20 damage from the light rifles. Go time. Um, I mean, again, long range option. That Fire. should kill the sniper turret. Should. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Target destroyed. Okay. Yes, Commander. And Centurion. Can get obstructed line of sight. But that would definitely be a kill. Ah, medium rifle and medium chem lasers. Okay. Or Centurion. Yeah. Let's move. Yeah, let's try to get the Centurion open and then the Stormcrow. Then again, he's still fresh, so. Stray shots might hit hit or might you know hit the Centurion. Giving him everything I've got. Could also potentially hit the Stormcrow in the back. But that's a leg, so Irby's down. Some heavy damage. Like literally up, literally down, not you 
have destroyed. Um, I stand corrected. Irby is actually down, Jack. Hey there. And standing and shooting will give me the bonus accuracy. Acid, 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 and acid on the fresh Centurion. He is now unsteady. He has acid stacks. And he's at turn 10. But I think all of my... No, wait. Crossbow hasn't gone yet. Okay. Systems holding. Let's see if the crossbow can get an angle on him. Good to go. And sadly, I do not believe he can. But he should be able to destroy that turret. Should. Lock on target. Yep. Alright, we have a little one and a centurion left. One nice turret. Waiting for Wait, order. somebody else has it? Oh, the Owens. Uh, the Owens can do literally nothing. Okay. Full speed, no shoot. Got it. Well, I mean, the Owens has taken some damage already, so maybe it's best that he can't get line of sight. Centurion. Moving away from the wall. Yeah, he's dead next turn. I should be able to get line of sight with everyone. There is no target diversity. He should be one dead mech. Shooting past the Stormcrow again. Hopefully nothing goes bad. Those are some good hit chances. Nothing hit the Stormcrow, so I'm happy. Standing by. Really? Obstructed is the best you can do? <sighs> okay. Whatever, at least you can fire everything. And at least he didn't have the, you know, damage reduction. So he's definitely knocked. Is he the one that I was pretty sure had the combat shield? Is he the one with the combat shield? Ready for orders. Maybe I want to leg him. Locking in coordinates. I think I'm going to try to leg him. Oh, his side torso. Well, as long as I don't destroy center, the combat shield should be intact. Copy that. I think I destroyed torso. Hostile eliminated. Left torso, left arm. Oh, no, I think it was just running a pirate engine. Hmm. Cool. What's up, boss? Might have a combat shield on the loot table. And cannot get line of sight to the little one. Roger. Commander. Oh, are you serious? Okay, then. Standing by. Roger. Well, hopefully he'll move away from the walls so that he can shoot at me. And then I'll be able to shoot him. What are you doing, little guy? Still hugging the wall. But he shot the Centurion, so the Centurion should be able to shoot him. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, literally can do nothing. 
move into position. All right. Yeah. What can I do, you fool? Okay. Location confirmed. Let's see. Standing by. Okay. Centurion twists. Centurion shoots. Yeah. Target eliminated. Mission successful. All right. Uh, yeah, local pirate, <laughs> local pirate organization really does not like us. But uh, we got eight hundred forty-six thousand after drop costs, which puts us just about at, if not a little past, what we need for the financial report. We took eh, mostly very light damage. They got a couple good hits in. Now, what two things are we taking? I mean, oh, we already have one. Eh. It's not as interesting, then. Another pirate fire control system? I mean, I am a fan. As long as you're using low-heat weapons that have no recoil, it's, like, actually really good. I think I might. I think I am. Alright, pirate fire control system. There is no combat shield. Uh, so I guess we take a Centurion part. Um... Okay. Centurion Omnimech. But it's a pirate Omnimech. So it would be a 250XL. So it would have a respectable speed, but it would only be an XL, not a clan XL. So losing a side torso would cost us the mech, and as we get into the late game, we're going to want our medium mechs to definitely have clan XLs, so that if they take, you know, two goth shots to the side torso, we don't just lose the mech. So for that reason, I think I'm actually going to go with the lower quality Pirate Centurion. All right, light rifle gone, medium rifle gone, basic cockpit, single heat sinks, jump jets, ammo for the rifles, and we got a centurion part and a pirate fire control system. I should have gone for more money. All right, we racked up a 53,000, 54,000 C bill repair cost, and it says six days. So... Hmm. I mean, obviously Atlas is top priority if we're going to drop on an A-team mission. Centurion is second priority. Crossbow and I think Owens. Well, then again, Owens is two. Spectre would be ready. So this would be four days would leave this with one day left. So yeah, the Spectre would actually be able to be ready one day sooner than the Owens. Alternatively, we could drop the Phoenix Hawk to the top of the list, or jump the Phoenix Hawk to the top of the list, and try to get it back up and running this month. And then that would be four, seven. The crossbow would almost be ready whenever the Phoenix Hawk's done with its initial repairs. Then we would have to re outfit it. And it would probably be ready in time for. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get the Phoenix Hawk back in action. All right. Hey, boss. We've just completed Excellent. Those so now we can drop six mechs. Um, starfish return from shore leave with gifts, produce, spices, meat. Uh, I mean, it 
is a little risky. But if everything goes well, we get starfish and high spirits, and we get morale. Oof. Oh no. Oh no. Zed falls gasping to the floor. Allergic reaction. Morale decreased. Starfish is now jinxed. Which is actually not terrible. I mean, plus one evasion gained in max, but as soon as you get knocked unsteady, you're at a minus one defense instead of the net plus one. But as long as you never get knocked unsteady, that's just a net plus one defense. But the part that really sucks is Zed just got injured. Oh no. Oh no. How long? How long? 15 days. Oh, okay, he's gonna miss the next mission. Looks like Bulwark is gonna be in the Centurion for an Alpha Team mission. Well then. That'll be interesting. <laughs> great. Just great. Um, one day, okay. Look at the Atlas. See if we have a fancy gyro in it. We have a stability gyro for minus 5% stability taken. Minus 5% stability taken. Doesn't the enhance. Yeah, stabilized ultralight gyro. Okay. It increases max stability by 25. Which is really actually quite good for an Atlas because. We don't really care about getting knocked unsteady, because we only have one evasion anyway, so getting knocked unsteady isn't that big. But we really don't want to get knocked down. And plus 25 max stability is actually quite significant. However, the stability gyro also grants entrenched after walk. So the real question is, what would we be able to do with 35%? Because that would be... 3.5 tons. However, we're lacking in slots. So with 3.5 tons... 3.5 tons. Do we have an Ultra 10? No, but we... Yeah, Ultra 20 is great and all, but not on such a slow mech. We, we want at least five, at least five movement with an Ultra AC-20, so we can get in close enough for it to be really effective. Plus, I'm pretty sure we don't have the slots. It's four slots. No? No? Okay. Clan Ultra AC-20 is the same number of slots as Ultra AC-5 Inner Sphere. All right. I mean... 56 heat versus 37. 51 damage versus 75. And the plus one accuracy and evasion ignore doesn't really matter because the Atlas is already so accurate. Like, I really have no complaints about the Atlas's accuracy. LRM 20 Zeus has a jam chance but has increased damage. <sighs> but we would only be able to have one ton of ammo. And we don't even have enough slots for it. Okay, so that's not an option. Yeah, what would we even do with the three and a half tons? Plus, we, we still have the Engine XL upgrade that would give us tonnage. Like, if we're willing to contribute 3.5 million sea bills, we can get extra tonnage. Like, tonnage is not the issue with the Atlas. The issue with the Atlas is entirely just slots. 
Just slots. That's it. Just slots. So, yeah, we're going to keep the stability gyro on the Atlas. And... What mech are we going to put... What mech are we going to put... Cause this, we have an Omni Gyro here, so we can't replace that. The crossbow, I'm pretty sure we can't replace the Gyro. Centurion has a Defense Plus, which... I think I'd rather have on the Centurion rather than the extra weight. Phoenix Hawk, I don't remember what it has on it, but we're about to see, so... Phoenix Hawk will be ready in four days. Yeah, the fact that that mission gave us enough money to clear the financial report means I'm not so worried about waiting for the Phoenix Hawk to be ready again. Alright, so now we just fix everything else that's wrong with it. Initial repairs done. It doesn't have a gyro. It has slots. It would not give us that much weight. <sighs> Honestly... You know what? No. The Phoenix Hawk gets messed up so often. Like, absolutely gets messed up so often. You know what? Do we have an AMS? We do have an AMS. We can put the clan AMS in the center torso. Heat efficiency, if we drop a medium laser, is perfect. Um, do we have AMS ammo? Yes, we have three bins of AMS ammo. And then we have half a ton for... I mean... LRM ammo? Do we ever run out of ammo with the LRM? I mean... So we have 16 shots. Or we could drop the LK, put in the LRM half, so then we still have... Um, 30, 60, 90, 120. So we still have eight shots with the LK, another f four shots with that regular LRM ammo, so that's 12 shots. And then that brings the half ton up to a full ton, so we could actually put medium laser back in, run a little hot, but at the same time, we're not firing the machine guns unless we have them open. So that's six heat that's not gonna be there. Which at that point we're heat neutral. So yeah, I think I think that's a build and hopefully the AMS keeps the uh, Phoenix Hawk from exploding every mission. I did, I did click repair, right? Yeah, okay, all right. Okay. Yeah, the stabilized ultralight gyro, I at least want to put in a heavy mech. Because it's not really that much tonnage on a medium mech. So, we just have a really good gyro sitting around waiting for our next heavier assault mech. Okay, so now we can manage these tasks. And... Yeah, I mean... Why not? Okay. Everything's done being repaired. Just took us half a month, but we played one mission. We got our financial report. So now... Is there anything in engineering that we're interested in? Mech Bay 3, too expensive. Gamma Pod, too expensive. Another drop slot, I mean... 
that would let us drop I think all of our mechs. How many mechs do we have? Nice to see you down here in the hole. We have eight mechs. Okay. So we'd be able to drop all except for the Spectre. Wait, tonnage. What's our tonnage? 165, 210, 265, 315, 340, 350, 385. So that would be 385. Do we have enough tonnage? What brings you down here, Commander? I think we have enough tonnage. I think you start off with 400, if I'm not mistaken. So we actually could go for a drop size upgrade. Oh, that's 600,000. We don't, we do not have that to spare. Especially since after we drop on this next alpha team mission, I believe there's a solo duel that I want to try with the Atlas. But I want to make sure that we're good on the financial report and we have enough money to repair the Atlas in case it gets, you know, torn up a little bit and then we have to abort the mission and not get paid for it. So, drop on... Oh, that's a duo duel. Four skull duo duel. Hmm. Three and a half skull assassinate. Or five skull recovery. That's a five skull mission. We're gonna have absolutely no money left after the drop costs. But, uh, yeah. We can drop all of our medium mechs and our wolfhound. Oh, that's right. Zed's injured. Oh. Ooh. I really want Zed on the Centurion. Like, Bulwark's okay, but Bulwark only has four mastery or affinity on the Centurion, so he doesn't have the extra right arm accuracy that really helps with the, uh, the rotary autocannon, and he doesn't have the bonus armor on the left side, which really helps in the higher skull missions. Because Zed is not available, I do not feel comfortable. Because a five skull mission is going to be a challenge regardless. But having, like, I literally waited for the Phoenix Hawk to be ready because I'm not comfortable bringing two light mechs. So I think we're going to do three and a half skull assassinate. I mean, still some potentially good. Uh, I'm not going full salvage, even though I want salvage from this mission, because 312 versus 315, I would much rather have the 110,000. 210,000. Yeah, I, I would absolutely rather have the 210,000. That giving up those three random salvage literally pays our drop costs. So, this should be a cakewalk. Should. Do I even bring the Atlas? if I don't drop the Atlas, I can drop Falcon and the Atlas on that solo duel before waiting for everyone to recover. Do I think I'll need the Atlas for a three and a half skull assassinate? Since we have the Phoenix Hawk back. Hmm. You know what? Let's just go quick, easy mission. Let's let's just do that. Quick, easy mission. Bringing the Atlas. Increasing our drop costs, but also guaranteeing that we don't... Well, I say guarantee. Hopefully not losing anybody. And then next month we'll drop on... Or once Zed has recovered... We will drop on a five skull mission and see how we fare. Um, Spectre out of there, get the Phoenix Hawk in, and the Wolfhound. So we have a three and a half skull lance with the Atlas. So we're absolutely going to be able to do the three and a half skull mission. Who was Bronzite? Was the Phoenix Hawk? 
Um, crossbow was starfish, I believe. Yeah, especially now that she has the bonus evasion and... Yeah, 50 stability threshold. It's going to be harder for the crossbow to get knocked unsteady than it would for the other mechs. So, Jinxed is actually really good on the crossbow then. I'm actually... <laughs> I think making Starfish a better pilot was absolutely worth Zed being out for one combat. For one drop. So, uh, I guess Warden and the Wolfhound? I mean... Yeah, sure. Sure. All right, three and a half skull lance versus three and a half skull mission. Well, three and a half star lance. What a, oh no. Seriously? Okay, so... If I don't wait long enough before I start the mission... It's the weird fuchsia mech problem. It looks like if I wait too long to start the mission, it does this weird whiteout thing. Like, that's the only reason I can think of why I have never seen this happen to, like, Bardul or anything. And why it didn't used to happen to me. But now that I've been waiting to start the missions until, you know, until it's been long enough to prevent the fuchsia issue, it seems like now the, uh, the whiteout issue happens. That's weird. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to reload the save, because this is going to be a longer mission. So, uh, yeah, I will, I will cut and see you next time it loads. Alright, uh, everything back the way it was. Please don't be messed up this time. Command Thank you. Okay. Initiated. Three and a half star lance versus three and a half skull assassinate. I'm really, really curious what the assassinate target's going to be. Hopefully it's something heavy or assault class. Hopefully we'll be able to get three parts and be able to finish out. I should have... I should have checked the uh, mech bay to see what I had parts to. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's... Uh, the insurgent leader supporting enemy forces, reinforcements, and... Okay, so... Something is over here. Something is over here. And something is over here. Wow, okay. There might even be something over here. Um, let's see, what does the train look like? If we drop here, we can circle around behind this, block line of sight to whatever's over here, and kill whatever's over here. So I think that is a sound plan, but obviously once we drop, we'll see where everyone actually is, and what we actually have going on. And, um, here's hoping. I'm really not a fan of the missions where all the enemies are spread out and you might end up dropping right in the center of all of them. Okay, so... Just watch the trees. That is... I think I just stepped in some... A... Uh, shit. Um, watch what are the they trees. called? Oh! There are four lances with the Insurgent Leader. Well, this episode's gonna run long. Okay, pretty sure those are both heavies. Ah, oh, man. I usually... I can remember immediately what the, uh... It's a, it's a heavy mech that has one big weapon on its right arm. It's usually primitive... And that, I think, might have been, like, an archer or something. Or maybe, uh... Maybe something... I don't know. Um, so that's what we see so far.
But yeah, there are four lances plus the insurgent leader. And I believe before it before we dropped and saw them, I think I saw the symbol for the insurgent leader over here. So I think the plan is still is already? to move around, use the this cluster of mountains to block line of sight to everything else. But we're going to be reserving till turn 13 at least. Uh, pretty sure it's going to be an artillery piece on the turn 10 mech there. So I do not want to be clustered whenever that, right, that thing takes its mistake. turn. Keep your eyes peeled, Commander. This looks like an ideal... <sighs> Gee, thanks, Darius. I didn't notice. Oof. Yeah, that's... that's... Armor's getting stripped mm -hmm. off. Mm-hmm. Taking damage. Okay. Losing lots of armor. My armor's in bad shape. <sighs> okay. So, they've got... Yeah, they've, they've probably got forces everywhere. That's why I had such restricted drop choices. But hopefully they don't have too much artillery like that. And hopefully we can take targets down fast enough. Ah, that's a lot of missiles. Okay. That's turn 18. Lots of missiles. More missiles than a medium mech would have, so it's definitely heavier assault. Um... Yeah, like I said, reserving till turn 13 so we have something we can shoot. Okay, those are coming from that outskirt. So, Reporting. Minimal our damage. plan probably will not block Just line scratch, of sight from man. those guys. Okay, finally... Oh, no, turn 14 something's acting. Well, something has line of... Oh, okay. That might have been like a long tom cannon or something. One big projectile mortar kind of thing. Okay, that might be micro missiles. Two damage apiece. Forty percent damage. It also might be clan tech. I don't know. What's up, boss? But we have something to shoot at at least. I actually want to wait. <laughs> I w I want to wait with uh with the AP Gauss Rifle Battery till I've already taken some armor I off of them. In. I have no idea how much heat I'm going to have from running through those flames. But, uh... Okay, um... I'm actually going to drop one of the Pulse Lasers just to conserve heat um, from running through the fire. It's turn one, so we don't have any sensors, so our hit chance is really low but I am also hoping like really hoping that we'll be able to take this guy down in this round we we need to kill very very quickly nope starfish you're waiting waiting for orders uh seriously where'd you have direct line of sight Okay, you have direct line of sight there, and obstructed there. Alright, shooting past a light mech with a rotary autocannon. What's the worst that could happen? Ooh, yeah, those are those are pretty bad hit chances. Um, generating a little bit of heat, but that'll be fine, and only firing times three because of that hit chance. Roger. Hey, two out of three hit, nice. There's a Lapeless. Yeah, Lapeless is what it's called. And it also has one giant artillery weapon. Something like a long tom. Sniper artillery something. Okay. Phoenix Hawk. Sprinting in and doing Phoenix Hawk things. Also pretty bad. I'm gonna just overload this. Because I, I feel like a lot of fire is going to be coming our way, and I, yeah. I'd rather risk the jam than let them just come through. Um, I'm actually going to save the LK ammo for once we have sensors. That's good enough hit chance, but heat, 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 heat. Um, yeah, dropping the mediums, that's, that's no heat generation. I'm happy with that. Alright. Almost have him unsteady. Yes. 
And this will definitely knock him unsteady. Like I said, I'm hoping for a kill this turn. We already have the side torso almost open on the archer. Um... Actually, I think I'd rather save the acid for scarier stuff. Actually, do I just save ammo altogether? Because we are, we have so many targets, I actually might run into ammo problems with the Storm Crow. But we need to kill as fast as we can. And if we can kill the archer early, like that, excellent, amazing. Take that. Bastard. So now we can start shooting the Halepolis. Yep, Commander. Well, in theory, we can start shooting the Halepolis. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um. Uh. Okay. So I could start moving the Atlas this way. Let all the other faster mechs deal with whatever's over here, and then they can swoop around and flank the enemies that the Atlas is fighting. But that will make the Atlas a single solitary target. That being said, getting out of fire is good. And do not have line of sight to anything, so I can brace. And... This is the last person I have left. So I'm firing the AP Goss rifle battery on a fresh target. Okay. 16% hit chance. But there's no recoil, so there's no reason not to fire eight times other than ammo. Ammo. Um, so with 150 shots, that would be 20 shots at times seven. I think that would be enough. So we can bump it up to, well, yeah, damage is damage. So we'll keep it at time seven until we have an open target we can crit out. Yeah, that extra six damage from firing three extra times really helped. Oh boy. Okay. So now we have a pretty good idea of where everyone actually is. Well, within sensor range. Alright, a Clint. Not super worried about that. An Archer. Okay, we just took one down. That's not too terrible. An Overheating Halepolis. I am totally hitting him with Inferno Missiles. Oh, a Thumper Urban Tank. That... okay. Centurion... LRM carrier. Alright, this isn't terrible. Catapult X. That's interesting. Waiting for orders. Do I just go for the kill or do I try to overheat him and go for somebody else? He's turn 11. My heat is turn 10. I'm going to try to kill him. Roger that. Alright, we'll found to the front because evasion's a thing. Firing everything. Because if I if I get too hot I can UAV ping. Copy that. Okay. As long as we can take targets down quickly, I'm not too worried. There's a lot of enemies, but they don't seem to be that scary of enemies. Another benefit of splitting the Atlas off like this is the Atlas is going to be able to soak some of that splash damage, like the artillery fire and stuff. Which will be conducive to a lower repair cost, rather than having everyone stick together. The only problem comes in... Um... Yeah, if I can... If I hit with the large laser, I could potentially crit out his weapon. So, I'm going... All in with the machine guns. Nope. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah, I really need to go... Oh no, I did crit his weapon. Sniper artillery crits. Nice. So, 
if he gets a turn, his uh, his artillery is going to be less accurate. Okay, firing indirectly. Love to see it. You just made a terrible mistake. But I'm not seeing the primary target yet. Yeah, he's back there somewhere. I'm receiving you. Any line of sight to anything? Yeah, so those guys over there are in the mountains. I'm gonna have trouble getting the Atlas over there. But if I can get to this little gap here, I should be able to get through. Uh, I mean, sprinting gets me one extra hex. Yeah, yeah, I need I need to get somewhere I can shoot quicker. Oh man, I you know, maybe saving weight and putting jump jets in the atlas would be good. Then again, I don't have slots for it. So once again, slots are the problem. But yeah, the the turret like nature of the atlas is not great. Alright, we already have the arm open. So this should be beautiful. We should take out his primary weapon. Or just take him out completely. Excellent. Okay, so far, two targets down. Just, um... <laughs> 15 more to go. No big deal. Commander. Alright, Centurion. Or does the Centurion stick with the Atlas? Um. I think the Centurion's gonna stick with the Atlas, Let's actually. Go. Once I get to a point where I can start shooting people, the two of them should be able to grind through enemies. And again, benefit of splitting up, the artillery firing is only going to hit, at this point, it would only hit two of our mechs instead of all of them. Um, yeah, out of range of everyone, actually. Okay. On my way, Commander. So let's get a little bit closer to that site so we can maybe get sensors on some more people. No? No, nobody on sensors. So, LRM carrier firing at extreme range. Actually doing some decent damage, considering the range it's firing at. Whew. Quick draw. Missed, okay. Twenty-two. Okay, no, that's still part of one of the support lances. What is the primary yes. target? Okay, um... I can get complete line of sight, but only with the streaks, right? Yeah, only with the streaks. So I need hardball to wait for somebody to get closer. Who's turn 21? Okay, so AC2, or maybe a light, uh, light rifle. I mean, it is a Clint, so it could be a light rifle. Pirate AC2, it could be a lot of things. Okay, that is unobstructed line of sight of the Clint. Okay, dropping the machine guns because he's not open. And for heat purposes, because I ran through fire, we are also dropping the medium lasers. No, we're not. We are dropping the large laser, because that completely dumps all of our heat. All right. On the You've got my attention. Okay, Warden can run around the fire. Copy that. Instead of running through it. And... I'll actually overheat. 
Hopefully we don't shut down. Okay, good. Next turn I'm gonna UAV ping. And UAV ping should dump all the heat. But I'm gonna try to run this way, assuming they come closer. Hopefully they come closer. Okay, firing indirectly on the Centurion with... That looks like improved swarm missiles. Hmm. That's a lot of missiles. Light damage, Commander. How many of the AMS hit? Zero. Oh my god. See? Regular AMS is so bad. I literally just put it in because I had a ton and a half, so why not? But like they the modders really need to buff regular AMS because like the only things worth having are advanced AMS or AMS Mark II. Standing by. Everything else is always like zero out of whatever hit. Ah, I forgot to change the Atlas's firing order. But yeah, running around the flames. Go ahead and change the firing order now. Okay. Done. This is so bad not being able to use my Centurion or my Atlas. They're literally my two best mechs. Oh, this might have been a egregious tactical error. I thought there were more on the other side. Oh, I didn't know it was just one Lance over here and everyone else was over here. But at least they're drawing the artillery fire. Waiting for orders. Okay, crossbow running a little hot. Cannot get direct line of sight to them. Can get direct line of sight to them with just the medium lasers. So I think I'm actually gonna move and shoot. Move into position. And. They're not open yet, so I think I'm going to save the ammo and the heat from the AP Gauss rifle battery. Then again, they're almost open. So... I'll drop some heat. Well, I got a crit. I have no idea what on. Uh, medium pirate laser. Destroyed. Okay. Ready for orders. Could be worse. Um. Almost. Roger. Full speed. Almost have direct line of sight to these guys over here with the Centurion. Okay. Some more chip damage on the Atlas. That's fine. What do you I much prefer the Thumper to be hitting just the Atlas rather than the entire cluster of guys I have over here. Um, I mean, this should be a kill. And then it'll take me two turns to get over there, but if I can get in behind him, the Stormcrow might be able to... Ooh, stability. Mmm. Mmm. I'm actually going to Vigilance. Drop the stability and also, yeah, he's already open. He's got low armor. There we go. So if the Stormcrow can that, get behind bastard. the Archer, that should be a one turn kill. Should be. God, that's so much. That is so much just holding. long range missile fire. And the fire's spreading and my guys are standing in it. Awesome. Okay. But yeah, I think I'm actually going to leave the Stormcrow to deal with that archer and try to shift everyone else to that flank. PPC missed. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Commander.
Hmm. I mean, running through fire. Yeah, it's worth taking a cooldown turn. Moving to position. So I'll move to drop stability with the Phoenix Hawk. And I will focus the urban tank with just the weapons that can fire. On Hopefully it doesn't have too much armor. I am out of long range missiles. Oh, we're still firing the standard. Okay, for a second I was really worried there. Ooh, he has a large laser and a thumper. Ow, okay. Light damage. They have direct line of sight, but that means we will have direct line of sight of them. And the Atlas is going to tear that panther up. Again, zero from or zero of forty hit by the AMS. So bad. Like it's even overloaded. That's that's literally the best it can do. Uh, whatever. Orders. So Am I even in range to, to run. ping at all? No, I'm not. Yeah, that would not affect anyone. Okay. Um How many do I have to turn off to sink some heat? All but two. Well, I mean, he's taking some damage somehow. And stray shots are a thing. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got a little one, a rapier. Alright, some more swarm missiles. Centurion should be able to just move and shoot. What do you want? Okay, hardball. Your job is to take out this archer. You cannot get behind him. And I do not want your back towards all the enemies. Uh but I also want three evasion and cover. Something Let's like roll. that. Hopefully I didn't over twist. Okay, and this turn... I'm definitely going... Actually, there's not that many vehicles. So I think I'm actually going to go tandem and hope for an ammo explosion. In addition to potentially getting an ammo explosion, Crippled that me. also means whenever I shoot from the back, the side torso and center torso might have already taken internal damage, so it'll still be effective. That thing is so accurate firing indirectly. What What is going on? Like, 40 missiles and it somehow is hitting indirectly with, like, almost all of them. Okay, artillery miss. Love to see it. Okay, it's a primitive archer. So, the primitive engine, if I take out the side torso, he should drop. Standing by. Alright, Bulwark, can you get the line of sight to anyone? No, apparently you cannot, unless you completely go over here. Uh, okay. Alright. Bulwark is going to reserve. Does he have the ability that drops stability when he reserves? damage, Commander. Oh, he does. Cool. So, reserving actually dropped all his stability damage. Ready Sweet. For I mean, 
yeah, they already went, so this is as close as they're gonna get this turn. Double time. But go. stray shots are a thing. Oh yeah, that's right. I can't even shoot them with my good weapons. Okay. Taking a shot. Hey, two hits. I'll take it. I'm ready. Falcon. As I said, if he can see me, Confirm. I can see him. So, I'm actually also going to go control burst for the heat management. Here it comes. That's it. Oof. That was underwhelming. Ooh. Yeah, these guys are getting shredded by all these LRMs. Yes, Commander. Maybe I'm not ready for a five skull mission yet. Confirm. Yeah. Yeah, I think the Atlas needs the assistance. Um Yeah. Confirm. Okay. Rapier doing rapier things, intercepting missiles. <sighs> Alright, what's going on? Turn 25. Quick draw. Oof. Okay. My armor's still solid. Reporting minimal damage. I mean... He's got a primitive engine. So one more shot from the side should destroy him completely. And it'll allow me to start moving back. Let's roll. So, yeah, instead of going for his back, I'm just gonna try to take out his side. Yeah, there we go. Primitive engine destroyed. Take that, bastard. Good to go. Okay. Does Bronzite have the? Yes, he does. So he's reserving just to drop stability. There we go. And he takes a little bit more stability damage, but at least he'll be able to sprint. So I need to close distance with these guys with my short range mechs to be able to destroy them before they keep pumping out damage on me with all of their long range missiles and everything. Okay, now the Centurion and the Atlas are close enough for the Catapult Swarm missiles to hit them both. PC went wide, good. Good. Whew. I'm gonna have such a high repair bill after this mission. But hey, at least we're getting a good bit of money, so it should pay for the repairs. Unless, you know, the Phoenix Hawk loses the side torso again or something. Um Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot at them again. Got the better hit chance on the quick draw. Ah, oh, it's a plasma cannon. I definitely do not want to continue getting shot by that. No stray shots against the Centurion, but that's fine. Balrog. That thing, I believe, has an AC-20 and some other weapons. Oh, it's got heavy flamers. Uh, no, this one has the Ultra AC-5. Okay, so this is like the primitive Balrog. Yeah, Commander. Alright. Starfish, D-100. 
doing crossbow things. I probably should have reserved. No, I, I didn't need to reserve with her. And I think I'm going to hold off one more turn on the uh, Vigilance. Oh, there's a crit. Scored a critical hit. Medium laser destroyed. I'll take it. I'll take whatever I can get right now. Uh, another artillery missing. Excellent. Waiting for orders. Falcon. Can you get unobstructed line of sight? No. All right. No shooting. Just running. I'll settle for obstructed then. Okay. With those hit chances, this panther should be toast. So I'm going to save Goss ammo. I didn't pay attention to my heat. Enemy destroyed. Okay. <sighs> okay, the gauge was wrong. It it showed me overheating, but I didn't notice until after I clicked fire. Whew. All right, so crossbow definitely going vigilance next turn. Minor commander. I don't want to lose, you know, so much armor that it's open. Okay, another miss from the artillery. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Aye, aye. Not get line of sight on anyone. So I think I'm actually gonna move and brace. Commander. Just reduce some of that incoming fire. Alright. Roger. Full speed. Phoenix Hawk having a little bit of heat trouble. Can't fire the machine guns. Drop one of the medium lasers, or both of them. I think I'll drop both of them. Copy that. The hit chance isn't that great. Ah, damn, we're gonna do this right. Solid Foot destroyed, okay. Oh my god, turn 22. For a second I thought it said turn 30. All right, so my wolfhound is going to get to go before the quick draw. Hopefully I can... That's a timber wolf. I would love to have a timber wolf, but... If that's rocking clan tech, that's rocking clan tech. Two clan ER large lasers. By my calculation, that's 110 damage. Two clan ER medium lasers, that's another 60, so that's 170. Plus the ER small, if it gets in range of it, so that's already 200 damage. And then two clan LRM-20s at 80 damage each. This thing will instantly delete any of my mechs if I get anywhere close Talk to it. Oh, boy. Boy. Um... I do not want that timber wolf shooting me, and I need to drop aye, aye. heat. So the wolfhound is going to take cover and UAV ping. I've got a sensor lock. Oh right, I was going to shoot to mm, because he's taking his turn now. There was a chance I could have put him on the ground, but it's just a plasma cannon and two mediums, and he's panicked or he's unsettled. So he lost a little bit of accuracy, and he's lost half his weapons. So. Mm. He's honestly not the highest priority right now. But that's still 70 damage and some heat that I potentially could have prevented. Is that a charge or is that... Yeah, that's a charge. Okay, I want to shoot. Okay, Phoenix Hawk's left side is almost open, so I need to definitely twist to the right. I mean, to the, to the left present his right side, turn off the large laser, 
but I should be able to fire both the mediums. Oh, I have one ammo left with the AMS. I wonder how many missiles it actually shot down this entire mission. What is it already? All right, I can get in range for streaks. Way, Commander. Which, I mean, yeah, it's only the streaks, but this is also a cooldown turn then. So, cooldown turn, cool. Next turn he should be able to get in range to actually We're start unloading. You. Okay, Centurion can actually get line of sight of the Balrog. Do I want line of sight of the Balrog? Four heavy flamers, two fluid guns that probably have Inferno ammo, and the Ultra AC-5. Um, I think I'd actually rather not be line of sight with him if I can avoid it, but at the same time, I want that catapult down. So turning with shield arm towards enemies. That catapult is ooh, quite evasive. Okay, it's firing Mars rockets. And it has Kim lasers and an Agra laser. So... So yeah, those aren't swarm missiles. Those are Mars. Wow, I just realized the Centurion's got half of its freaking armor gone. Oh, but his Mars are either jammed or out of ammo, so that's good. That, that should be considerably less damage that the Centurion and Atlas are taking at this point. Oh, I should not have split my forces. There goes an arm. So there goes the two medium lasers. At least I won't have heat problems anymore. Okay, that LRM carrier needs to go. Needs to go. Yeah, let's do that. Double time. Okay. Vigilance with the crossbow. Oh, Starfish is low spirits. That just cost me 50 resolve. Firing. Oh, boy. Come on, ammo explosion. Ammo explosion. Please, ammo explosion. Hmm. Target's taken a critical I hit. really needed that to die. Well, I crit his LRMs. I panicked him. Centurion's open, hopefully just the shield arm. Commander? Atlas should be able to kill the chariot now. That's, that's quite low armor. Drop one of the PPCs, fire the Goss, drop all the heat. Blow up the vehicle. Excellent. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Slowly but surely, we're getting it done, and we are, so far, we're doing okay, armor-wise. We've lost two medium lasers, but it's the Phoenix Hawk, so, I mean, we're always, you know, getting the Phoenix Hawk a little messed up. The Atlas is soaking damage indirectly, which is great. I should be able to take out the urban tank with the Phoenix Hawk. Breaking line of sight to all these guys. <sighs> yep, this is a doozy. Here comes the LRM carrier. Firing on the Storm Crow, which I'm actually okay with. That's a lot of damage, but the Storm Crow is relatively fresh. Damage. So. But yeah. Oh, one, one little poke, and it would have died. And did it run out of ammo? Is that why all the missiles are red now? If it ran out of ammo, I literally could have just ignored it instead. And taken out the quick draw so it stops plasma canning me. Okay. That's uh, Phoenix Hawk's side torso probably getting wrecked. But I think I no longer have anything in the side torso. Yeah. So I'm actually fine with the side torso being destroyed. It'll crit the engine, which will cost a little bit of money and time to repair, but... Ooh. Ow. Yeah, I was trying to prevent that from happening, breaking line of sight. 
That shot went internal. Okay. Um, well, left side is shield side at least. So the right side's the one with the Guardian ECM and the heat sinks and okay. Um, he does have cautious. He is currently unsteady though. Orders. So do I get two evasion while I can? Got my attention. I mean, I could get two evasion and cover, but I'd be putting my right side towards the enemies. Follow my lead. Wait, did I sprint or did I walk? I walked. Okay. Quick draw already went. The Centurion has not. So here's hoping. That was not nearly enough. Yeah, three and a half skulls is actually quite challenging. Especially when they have a Timberwolf as the... Actually, wait. If I saw that symbol correctly, that's not even the primary target. Hold on. Oh, it's a Mackie in the back that's the primary target. And we're being meleeed. And we're being hit. Let me guess. Yep. That is our Phoenix Hawk now on the ground and losing its sight torso. Uh. I mean, at this point, I think I'm actually going to have him punch out. I, I don't want to lose the mech. We'll lose a controlled fire, uh, improved fire control system and his clan sensor, but... I really can't afford to lose yes. a medium mech right now. I mean, unless we happen to get the uh, the Mackie or the Timberwolf. Like, I would love to get a Timberwolf. On my way, Commander. Okay, let's take this quick draw down so we stop having heat problems. Wait, what? Excuse me? Why did he get wounded? He doesn't have D and I or anything. Uh, yeah, he took another injury. Why? That's weird. <sighs> Quick draw. I'm sick of your plasma cannon shenanigans. Oh, yeah, there's also a great here there. somewhere. Just remembered. Minimal damage on that hit. Receiving you. Okay. Centurion is actually still pretty fresh. LRM carrier, its weapons are red, so it's not gonna fire this turn. Quick draw. It's open, so I could probably get a kill relatively easily. Can't really get a good line on well, I can get to Direct line of sight right there. Somebody needs to start shooting him. Somebody needs to start shooting him now. But he has so much armor. Even if all the lasers hit the same location, that's 105 damage. That wouldn't even be enough to open an arm. <sighs> okay. Maybe, maybe the Centurion or the Atlas will, I mean, the Catapult, its Mars rockets might be out of ammo. So at this point, all it has is, I think, three lasers. Yeah, Commander. I'm actually, I'm going to hold off on using Starfish until, oh, also I used Vigilance last turn. So yeah, she has three evasion and braced. Okay, whatever that was missed. Is that the rapier back there? Mm. 
firing indirectly at least. Okay. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Ready for orders. Falcon. Wait, I can walk further than I can sprint. Interesting. I mean, those are hit chances. What about the ball rock? Those are even better hit chances. Okay, control burst time. Please kill it. Oh yeah, it's a ball rock. Slightly overestimating my Atlas's damage there. Because, yeah, the catapult has two medium chem lasers and an auger laser. And then AMS. So, I'm really not worried about... Uh, shield arm is open. Everything else looks fine. Moving to position. Moving to drop stability. There's no way I'm killing that thing. I need to shoot it from the side. Where's the Timberwolf? Mmm, those those are not good hit chances. But I gotta start shooting it sometime. Okay, four hits from the autocannon. I'll take it. I'm out of LRM. I will definitely take four hits from the autocannon. Oh, what's up, boss? Okay, so pretty much all of them have gone. Yes, all of them have gone. There is a chance. There is a chance I can open the side torso and start getting crits. Or... I can take down the quick draw. Potentially get a stray shot on the LRM carrier. Which I'm pretty sure is out of ammo anyway, so I don't want to waste a turn. Firing on it. Uh, disabling the machine guns. Yeah, doing that. Aye, aye. Inflicted some heavy damage. Alright, that was not a kill. And there was not a single stray shot that uh, went over there. Torso mount cockpit. XXL engine, so as soon as that side torso goes, he's down. So I just need to do 83 damage to his side torso. Good to go. You know what? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna save all of the stuff, all the double heat sinks and all the clan tech and everything. You just just punch out, Bronze. Punching out. Just punch out. Okay. All right. So we've got one mech down. Wolfhound not looking hot. Stormcrow just leg not looking good, but everything else is fine. The quick draw still alive. Shooting the Wolfhound. Wolfhound is unsteady again. My armor. Turn 23. Oof, the timber wolf. And the catapult. Okay. Okay, ignoring the catapult is actually viable. Now we'll see if the Mars rockets are still red or uh, if he just had them jammed or something. This could be a dead wolfhound. Oh man, am I gonna have to have the Wolfhound punch out too? Oh boy. Yeah, that Timber Wolf is no joke. I mean, he's overheating at least. But yeah, he still has ammo for his missiles. Yes. You know, I'm really hoping for a double kill here. 
I have four LK missiles left, so... The Centurion is still fresh. Acid, 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 LK, streaks. Alright. One target down. Quick draw still standing. Rapier still being annoying. Oh jeez, what is all that? Whatever. Okay. Systems holding. Probably gonna have Warden punch out too. Yeah, just SLDF cockpit, powered sensors, clan fire control. Yeah, that's that's fine. Already lost the medium pulse laser in that side. If I lose that arm, I lose two double heat sinks and a medium pulse laser. And if I lose that side torso, that's... I'm not willing to lose that Order. stuff. If he survives till he can punch out, he's punching out. Okay. Don't really want to be shooting past my Centurion, so I'm going to reserve. Move my Centurion out of the way. Here comes the Mackie. Okay, shooting the crossbow. Good. And, uh, Mackie's no longer firing his LRMs. He might be out of ammo. Okay. Moving to the side. No, sprinting to the side. Please, no. Okay. I am a lot more worried about the Timberwolf than I am about the Balrog. Roger. Okay. Crossbow needs to brace this turn, but unfortunately Starfish is low spirits, so that's gonna take... That's gonna take 50 resolve, so I'm not gonna have the accuracy bonus from high spirits anymore, or whatever it's called. Right, Centurion's heat is still fine. Commander? Falcon. We'll have to stand in the Oh no, that's the that's the rapier. Okay. Just moving. Just moving. And hopefully killing the Timberwolf. Oh, that's an overheat. Okay. That's still a lot of heat. Engaging target. Close. But he's probably going to get to go before every single one of my units. Talk to me. <sighs> yeah, I'm punching out. There's two down. Good to go. Okay, sprinting and moving both give one evasion. Both land me in the fire instead of in cover. I think I'd rather take cover than one evasion. Oh, there goes all my resolve. And here's hoping. Affirmative. Come on. Come on. Nope. Watch my heat. I'm taking damage. Yeah, I even went for the overheat because honestly, if I cannot take the Timberwolf down, he's probably going to just kill me. I'm gonna probably lose another mech if the if the Timberwolf does not go down. Quick draw disengaging. Oh, never mind. Just missing, I'm happy with that. Is the urban tank almost out of ammo? No, still not out of ammo. Yeah, Centurion's getting shredded. Okay, but that was the Timberwolf. What is it already? Stormcrow. You gonna be the hero? 
Ah, uh, he's he's still most armored from that side, so he twisted to he twisted to completely neglect nickel yeah negate the damage I've already done. But the acid will still increase the damage he takes from everything else, and we need him down this turn. We cannot have him. Wait a second. If I Inferno him... If I Inferno him, he might not shoot. No. No. I just, I just need to go for the kill. Okay. There's something down. I'll just take Gonna one Timberwolf there. part and be happy. I don't care. I just need it gone. I need it gone now. Yep, catapult still doing damage. But the Timberwolf should go down this turn. I don't know what's going on, but apparently something missed the crossbow. Oh, rapier, okay. Here comes the Mackie. What is the Mackie going to do? Nothing. Aye, aye. You love to see it. Okay. Two evasion. Roger that. That should be a kill. Thank you. Goodbye. Tango down. Ready for orders. Okay, Balrog is mostly heat damage. I'm actually not super worried about him killing anything. He's mostly just crowd control. So if there's nothing else that I can shoot very easily. Okay, one more turn on the peak. Alright. Waiting for orders. Crossbow. Really just needs a cooldown turn. Like, really needs a cooldown turn. Can I actually shoot anything? Do I want to actually shoot anything? Okay, so the LRM carrier is definitely out of ammo at this point. The quick draw is actually twisted with his fresh side facing me, or fresher side. So, yeah, I'm actually just gonna brace. I should have just stood in the fire and braced, because at least I had the cover. Maybe the trees wouldn't have burned down completely by the next turn. Yep, that's still damage. Just, as I said, not not a ton. Elrim carry doing nothing. Urban tank. Yep. Just fire everywhere. Okay. Turn 30 is the quick draw. All right, plasma hit, so the crossbow is still gonna be overheating. This, this is quite the mission, and I still have a Mackie to deal with. But even if I just get a Catapult part, a Mackie part, and a Timberwolf part, I think I'd be okay with that. Because we didn't lose any mechs. Both of our mechs we were able yes. to punch out, so we just lost some head components and some repair time. That's it. Is the crossbow going to be able to shoot this turn? If so, it should be able to kill the quick draw. If not, it won't. Regardless, I need this fire to stop I being like a thing. Matter. So, yeah, Stormcrow is going to put himself in a precarious position. And, uh, do I have tandem left? Yes, I do. So he's only got 25 structure in each location. Yeah. 
fire. No more fire, please. Vehicle destroyed. I think the Mackie, since it's not firing anything at long range, I think it's mostly short range weapons. So I'm going to pull back after I finish these guys off, regroup, and just pepper him from a long range. And he seems to be out of his LRMs, so just Order. clean these guys up and... Yeah. That sounds like a plan. I mean, Centurion's armor is pretty shred, so... I think he has more armor left. No, not quite more armor left on his back than on his front, but... Oh. Rotary Auto Cannon's jammed. Alright, folks, let's get this done. Okay. The Rapier's not really a threat. The Balrog's not really a threat. We got the Timberwolf down. That's that's what really messed us up so bad. Yes, Commander. I think I'm gonna try to kill the uh, the Raven there. Controlled burst for heat management. Firing full content on it. So that should have been some significant damage. Yeah. Center torso is just about open now. Please let me shoot something. Okay, definitely not the lasers. I think since he's so open, I think I'll do that. Come on. No? Seriously? Reporting critical hit. Oof. I was really hoping for that kill, because now he can go into the Stormcrow's back if he wants. Or he's just gonna melee the crossbow. Ooh, he's gonna punch the crossbow, so he still gets to shoot his plasma. Yeah. Report over the red line. What do you want? Well, it's it's his fresh side, but well, now if I run right here, I can shoot him in the face. On my way, Commander. I want you to die. Please die. That's a little overheating, but if any of the streaks don't fire, let's just make sure we don't overheat. Goodbye. Thank you for dying. Take that, you bastard. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Heat. Heat has been a contributing factor to how bad things have been. I think I'd actually rather have the heavy mech parts than the clan tech that the Timberwolf dropped, actually. I, I need to replace the light mech. Like, the Phoenix Hawk should be the lightest mech I'm bringing on this, high, this heavy of missions. I'm so glad I didn't try a 5 skull mission. <laughs> oh, man. I am, I am so, so relieved that, uh... Zed got injured. Because if he hadn't gotten injured, I legitimately would not have taken this mission. I would have gone for the Five Skull mission and probably regretted it. It should be a kill, but it also puts me in line of sight, or in, uh, in the way of the Atlas shooting the rapier, so... Bulwark is once again going to reserve while the Atlas takes its turn. Okay. I'm under heavy 
fire. Waiting for orders. And might as well shoot Move past the receive. catapult. Because why not? Uh yeah, I really want this thing dead. I'll shoot everything. It didn't die. I also didn't pay attention to heat, so... Nope, heat was good. Heat was good. Okay. I'm ready for orders. Um... Kick. Don't fire anything. Just kick. That is from the front, right? Yeah. Okay. Whew. I really hope the payout covers the repair costs. Oh, uh, what? That. I. Yes, come out. Okay. Okay. Noted. You know what? Die. Nope. All right. Critical hit, Commander. All right. Yes. I would have to run through all the fire put myself closer to the Mackie to shoot just the streaks. No, I'm I'm going to go with my original plan and just completely disengage. On my way, commander. From this side. Completely disengaging from this side. I want to get away from that Mackie and I want to hit him from the longest range I possibly can. Right there went something. Okay. That was really bad. Shoulder. Okay, that's fine. Standing by. Shield arm is meant to take beating. That's what shield arm is literally there for. Okay, Centurion. Rack is jammed, but that just means we get to dump heat this turn. I mean, there's usually pretty good stuff in the rape here. So that's 54 damage to kill it versus 75 damage. Yeah, Roger that. Hmm? Reporting critical hit. Oh, side doors are destroyed. Okay. Okay, Gauss Rifle off, Ultra Auto Cannon off, and yeah, just kill it. Good. Reporting enemy battle mech down. Receiving you. I know I just got done saying it. That I didn't want to get closer to the Mackie. But with Vigilance and 3 Evasion and being able to shoot this obnoxious catapult in the back. Yeah, let's do that. Fire it on for your arc. Critical hit, Commander. Well, that was unfortunate. I was really banking on a kill there. What do you want? Whether it be from crits or not. Uh, I'm actually gonna just wait with the Storm Crow. See what Anything? happens. 
Now the catapult gets to go. Again. Should be its last turn. And it's shooting the Atlas, which I'm more than happy to see. Minimal damage on that hit. Commander? I'm actually gonna drop the guarded to absolutely Full just get the crits I need or the damage I need or whatever on the catapult. No heat. Just pew. Actually, I need so little damage, I'm not even going to fire the small, so I drop all of my heat. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hostile eliminated. Now the Mackie hopefully does not have a good target. Cannot shoot all of his weapons. Because he does have something potent. Alright, Centurion, I think I'm going to pull back with. He doesn't need to be anywhere near the Mackie. That was a lot of 20s. Reporting internal damage. Pirate Rotary Autocannon 20. It's a Shotgun Rack 20. Yes. Oh. Dear, how do I deal with that? Let's roll. How do I deal with that? Guns on target. Our primary target is taking damage. And my Atlas cannot actually get line of sight to anything. That is not good. Receiving you. Affirmative. My Centurion wants no part of that Mackie. But at least I know the Mackie needs direct line of sight. Yes. We can do this. We just need the Storm Crow, which is relatively fresh, to run straight up into his face in the riskiest maneuver of the mission. Go Vigilance. And I could tandem for crits, actually. Because he has a lot of armor. And if I can get crits... Okay, so... No, not shooting him from the front. Shooting him from the front, I need to use Acid to increase all the damage everyone else does against him. If I can figure out which side the Rack 20 is on and tandem him from that side, it'll be worth it. Crossbow got shredded up. I mean, the Barrock does need to die. He can do damage, but I'm ready. I have more clear and present dangers to deal with. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do that. Um, yeah, sure. Oh no, 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 no. This entire mission, I've been so careful. Oh, connection on that one. I've been so careful to not shoot past my Centurion. Um, wow. Standing by. Okay, so I actually have to kill the Balrog before he once again shoots my Centurion. But maybe the scent will have... Okay, worst case scenario... I lose the shield arm or leg. I 
I don't want to, though. Roger. And with this, I can get the crossbow out of there, so the Mackie is definitely going to shoot the Stormcrow. Which obviously is not ideal, but it's the best thing we can hope for right now. Now, Balrog is down. <sighs> Alright. So now the Centurion can leave. Just, just run away. Just absolutely run as far away from the Mackie as he can. And the Mackie does nothing. For orders. Amazing. Okay, yeah. Like I said, Centurion, getting out. Roger. Just literally just getting out. Booking it. That's gonna be so many repair costs. What is I don't, it even, I don't even know how many sea bills it's gonna be. Then again. I can get three evasion and cover. And go vigilance. I believe, against my better judgment, I am dueling a Rack 20 pirate Mackie with a Storm Crow. And I think the Storm Crow's winning. Good hit there. Commander? Coordinates received. Yeah, I think I'm legitimately dueling the Mackie with my Stormcrow. Because the Atlas isn't able to get there. And this is the point where we see who wins the duel. Gonna need repairs. Yeah, you're definitely gonna need repairs. Receiving you. No, no, you're getting out. I'm not risking losing my Centurion. Full speed. What do you want? I really wish I knew what kind of engine he was running. I really wish I knew. Um. Please don't be an over twist. So what's on the right arm? Uh, just ammo? Just ammo. Now, if there's an ammo explosion, my Stormcrow has... Clan Pharaoh. Which means, even if there's an ammo explosion on the right arm, or on the right leg from the ammo that's in there, only the leg or arm will be destroyed. Now then, the reason I decided to get behind him, other than the fact that apparently his back is already open a little bit, is because I can potentially do some crits to his engine or something. Good. Ammo's gone! Did I miscount? Okay, I have no idea how much tandem ammo I had. But yeah, next next turn is gonna be four acid and then the rest dead fire. So I'm out of tandem. Alright, Centurion is safe. Gonna need lots of repairs, but is safe. Atlas still cannot get into the fight. Crossbow is going to join in. That is so much armor. That is so much armor. Um. Whatever. All weapons are gone. Success. Success. 
Success, but at what cost? Mission successful. Okay. Okay. So, after our drop costs, we only made 351000 I don't know if that will cover the repair costs. Corsair, I mean, not Corsair, the crossbow, the storm crow, and the centurion all got opened up. And the phoenix, hawk, and wolfhound had to eject. Okay. 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 So. There is an entire quick draw. But no, I'm taking a Timberwolf part. If I can get a Timberwolf, that will be such an incredible asset. Oh, man. Could you even imagine how bad three and a half skull missions against the clans would be? win a single clan mech on a three and a half skull mission tore us up that bad. Like honestly, that the Timberwolf is the reason we had to eject anyone. It just did so much damage every turn. I mean, there's so many mech parts. I do like the idea of an archer. I do like the archer. Uh, the catapult is weird. 65 tons, uses two Mars rocket artillery systems. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good. I think I'd rather have archer than catapult. But let's look at what else there is, just in case I change my mind. Nope. Nope. Uh-uh. Rack 20 pirate. 25 times 5, and then you could fire it up to times 6. So, you could potentially do 750 damage in a single turn. 700 and 50 damage from one weapon system. Wow. All right. All right. Yeah, that was rough. But, I mean, there is a clan improved fire control system because we did lose an improved fire control system off of somebody when we ejected it. And, but then again, I'm not going to waste a uh, heavier gyro. Eh, no, no, that's not what I'm going to use the Atlas's weight on. Um, patchwork tier three, we already have a pirate fire control system, so I'm not sure that patchwork tier three though. But as we get into heavy and assault mech territory, Patchwork becomes less and less viable because we get slot locked so easily. So I think I'm going to pass on the patchwork in favor of taking two heavy mech parts. Or three heavy mech parts. But, I mean, well, I guess, yeah, instead of taking two heavy mech parts because there were two of the tier threes. Anyway, that aside, yeah, that was, uh, that was a doozy. Let's see, we also get a bulldog part, <laughs> rapier part, okay, and then two medium lasers, which replace the two that we just lost on the Phoenix Hawk, neat. Fuel cell engine, so 50,000 sea bills. We got the clan improved fire control system, so we can now replace the improved fire control system we lost when we ejected. We got the pirate fire control system, always happy to have one of those lying around, and vehicle flamer ammo. No thanks. Alright. 700 
and 1,672 sea bills and 67 days for repairs. Okay, so in exchange for three heavy mech parts, we lost a lot of money. And I mean a lot of money. As usual, Phoenix Hawk at the bottom, Atlas, and Centurion to the top. Wow. Wow. Okay. At the start of the next episode, I think what we're going to do is we're going to repair the Atlas and the Centurion. And I was talking about maybe doing the Silho Duel Five Skull with the Atlas. I am no longer confident about Five Skull missions. However, we could potentially do the Duo Duel that is only four skulls with our two best mechs. And I think that might be the only way we make it over the financial report without selling the majority of the things in our, in our, uh, you know, inventory. But I will decide that, and I will mess around in the mech bay to try to fix everything and get everything up and running without going bankrupt next time. So, I hope you enjoyed the episode, I hope you had a good time, and uh, until next time, have a good one.